सो इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव कंप्लीट अ टॉपिक्स इन विच वी हैव टू टाइप्स ऑफ लैंग्वेज वन इज फाइनाइट सेकेंड वन इज इनफाइनाइट सो फॉर इनफाइनाइट लैंग्वेज वी हैव कंप्लीट अ टॉपिक इन विच वी कैन कन्वर्ट दैट इनफाइनाइट लैंग्वेज टू फाइनाइट रिप्रेजेंटेशन ओके एंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस फाइनाइट रिप्रेजेंटेशन वी विल से दैट द स्ट्रिंग इज स्ट्रिंग इन दैट लैंग्वेज इज एक्सेप्टेबल और नॉट सो नाउ अवर टॉपिक इज डी एफ ओके सो डी एफ ए इज दैट विच टेक क्यू कॉमा सिग्मा कॉमा क्यू नॉट कॉमा एफ एंड दिस ट्रांजिशन फंक्शन ओके सो वट इज दैट क्यू Q is set of states, and next we have is sigma. Sigma is symbol that we have given in the example, and Q naught is set of our initial states or uh, initial states. Set of uh, we cannot say that set of or uh, we will say only Q naught is initial state, and F is set of final states, and this transition function, which means Q uh, is function with sigma. Okay, so let us understand all this with one example. If I am having a state A and this is the case, so we have studied in our previous example that this one symbol represent that the state is initial state. Okay, initial. state okay and a symbol in a circle represent the state a symbol in a circle represent state and i will add and if i will add this arrow this means that the state is initial state okay so in this case what we have is initial state we will have is a okay and a having two transitions of 0 and 1 and it goes to b okay so here symbols that we have is 1 and 0 or we i can represent this with the help of this 0 and 1 okay so these are the symbol or we can say alphabets are 0 and 1 next we have is final state so a circle with in a circle is a final state okay so here we have final state is b okay and states if i am having this one is a dfa okay this one is a dfa then we have states are a comma b okay and what about this transition function transition function we can say that like this a and b so a this a by taking one will go to b a this a by taking one will go to state b and this a this a by taking zero will go to b and b here okay so this is a uh, dfa so i have to show the transitions of zero and one so let us suppose that this transition is like this okay so <clears throat> b by taking 1 b by taking 1 will remains in b and b by taking 0 will again remain in b okay so this, this is our transition function so this is about the basic of dfa so now now understand dfa with one example okay so example is example 1 construct a dfa 
कंस्ट्रक्ट डी एफ ए दैट एक्सेप्ट अ सेट ऑफ सेट ऑफ स्ट्रिंग्स ऑफ लेंथ टू ओके डब्ल्यू इज मीन्स फॉर अ स्ट्रिंग एंड द लेंथ ऑफ स्ट्रिंग इज टू ओवर द अल्फावेट्स ओवर द अल्फावेट्स ओवर द अल्फावेट्स थ्रेड स्टेक ए एंड बी ओके दिस इज द केस एग्जाम्पल नंबर वन so in this the language will become l1 will become set of all strings of length 2 okay so set of all strings of length 2 will be a a b b a b and b a okay so this is the language that we get from this statement and by writing this language we understand that the given language is finite because there are 1 2 3 and 4 four possible strings okay so the language is finite so there will be a dfa it's natural there will be a dfa so now we will construct that dfa okay so always i will start from initial state so i will take initial state this arrow will represent the state is initial and let us take the initial state is a okay so first of all i have to accept that first thing a a and for the initial state a i have to show the transitions of a and b on this stage okay so by taking a and it will go to state b and one more transition that i have to show is of b so so state a by taking a it will go to b and state a by taking b will again go to b okay so this is the initial state okay and this state will accept or uh, this state will give the strings of length 0 and this state b will give the string of length 1 because of this a this a and b so again i have to show the transitions of a b on this stage b so for that i will forward that to c okay so now this is the dfa so let us take that first thing i will take this first thing a a so let us start with initial state that is a so at the state by taking a it will go to b and again b by taking a it will go to c so here the string is over so i have to accept that string for accepting that string i have to make this one as final okay so by with the help of this dfa that string is acceptable that this one string is acceptable but there is a problem that i have to show the transition of ab on this state also okay so for this i will put the transition of a and b to the next stage which is b okay so <clears throat> this will become the dfa and over d i will show the transition of ab here or we can represent this stage as a dead state 
dead state because there is no revival. Once we have entered into the state of D, there will not be any possibility for return. So this one we mention generally as dead state. Okay. So there is a possibility of any state. I will put that in dead state. So in this VFP, let us check the strings. A A A is okay. Now I will check for B B. Okay. So for B, for the string B, I will start with A. Then I will move to by taking B, I will move to state B. So at B, by taking B, I will move to C. Okay. I I start with this initial point. And move the move to the point which is final, and string is accepted because I will start with initial and reject final, and the string is fully traversed. Okay, so this one is also acceptable. Now let us check the third string which is A B. So for A B, I will start with initial state which is A, and initial state by taking A. I will go to state B, and at state B, by taking B, I will move to C. Okay, the string is over. String A B is over, and I am reached at the final state. This is we have been initial and final. The string is acceptable. Okay. Next string we have is. B A B A. So for B A, I will start with state A with initial and A by taking B will go to B. And next is A. So B by taking A will go to C. Okay. So this is our final. And the, this one is this one is we have. Initial, so initial to final, and the string is fully traversed. So this one is also acceptable strings. Okay, so this DFA accept all the strings that we have mentioned in our language. Okay, so this one is the DFA for the given language, which accept all the strings of length two. Over the alphabet A and A B. Okay, so what happen if I am having a string of length three? Let us take an example in which we have a string of A A B. So what will happen? I will start with initial state A, and by taking A, I will go to B, and at B, I will taking A will go to C, and again there is an alphabet with, uh, which is B. So by taking B, it will move to D. Okay. So this is our initial, and this one is sorry, this one is final. So when I reach at this point, the string is not fully traversed. I have to move one step further, and uh, this stage is not final, so the string is not acceptable. So this DFA is. Again, okay. For this string also, let us take one more string. Let us take a string in which I am having B, 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 and A. Okay. So for this string, I will start with A. So by taking at state A, by taking B, I will move to state B. Okay. So again. At B, I will move to state C. So this one is initial, and this one is final. So up to this point, I have traversed only two alphabets. Next is B. So C by taking B will move to D, and D again by taking A will remain in D. Okay. So this one is initial and this one is final, and the string is fully traversed. String is D B B A B D B A. String is fully traversed, 
but this state d is not final so the string is not adaptable okay so this is all about the dfa with one example okay so next lecture we will take one more example